Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel and today we're going to be discussing how to heal your body after a gut-wrenching holiday meltdown of gluttonous overeating. The first thing you want to do is you want to start out with intermittent fasting. So for the first part of your day, you're going to do some really light yoga and stretching and then we're going to go into some um, some um, teas, teas throughout the day and as well as you're going through your just regular routine. So you're going to just, you drink some tea, like some herbal tea, hibiscus tea is a good one, chamomile tea, comfrey tea, um, all of those are great teas that you can drink, nettle tea, and that way you're getting your body flushed out with some vitamins and minerals as you are fasting throughout the day. And guys, you won't even think about it, you'll be so busy. And then, after you do that, we're going to go ahead and um, get into the rest of the video. So, how to heal your body. Look at it this way, guys. Basically, all you're doing is you're using this time to hydrate your body, okay? You're hydrating your body and you're getting, make sure that you're going to the bathroom. You know, you're supposed to be going to the bathroom and urinating to flush the system out. So you wanna make sure that you're staying hydrated, you're having plenty of fluid going into your system for your skin and your hair and your nails and all that good stuff. So basically, just look at this fasting time as a way to rehydrate yourself because that's what you're doing. You're rehydrating your body to where your digestion is gonna be better, uh, your intestines need to be hydrated. Um, they, they need to be cleansed. This is the time for cleansing and detoxing during your fasting time. So I don't know how long you want to fast or how long you want to go without food during this time. Um, but look at it this way. You're doing this, either, you could be doing this for religious reasons. If you don't really want to do it for yourself, do it for religious reasons. I'm just throwing that out there. No, no pun intended. But back to what I was saying, um, you know, so however long you want to, to be fasting, however long you want to be fasting is really up to you, okay? It just depends on your, um, the amount of time you can go. If you start going without food and you feel like total garbage and you're like, I've got to eat something, by golly, just eat something, you know? But eat something healthy, eat something nutritious. But I'm just saying guys, go for as long as you can, um, you know, with fasting. And so far, it's a 3.30, I haven't had anything to eat all day. Guys, I'm not even hungry. I've done an ab workout, I've done, I've made cookies, I've, I've done a lot of stuff. I made Boy Scout cookies for um, the Boy Scout camp out tonight check them out they're little eagles I'm kind of proud of these aren't these cute they're little eagles because uh, for the Boy Scouts they actually um, you know they graduate to an eagle as the final uh, phase of the Boy Scout program so I made some little eagles for their camp out Okay guys, we're back um, and we're intermittent fasting and it is four o'clock so um, now it's, uh, you know, I'm going to be breaking my fast. So basically, I'm pretty much doing Oman today, which you could, I mean, it's, you could do intermittent fasting with this long of a span um, or, you know, you could, like, I mean, it's four o'clock so technically I could eat. Um, you know, like, I could eat some more um, than just with one meal. I mean, like, I could stretch my eating window from 4 o'clock till, like, 8 o'clock. And that'd be for, and eat a couple of meals or eat another meal kind of late. Um, but, okay guys, now I'm going to go ahead and have some watermelon. Um, and I'm still, it's probably, you know, I broke my fast with the uh, barley juice, grass and juice, and it was really good. And now I'm going to have a little bit of watermelon. And um, so I will, we'll see you in a little bit. 
Okay guys, um, it's 7.30 and I'm going for round two of the, uh, the barley grass. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and juice some more. Probably going to juice about another four ounces. So yeah, going for the tackling those gray hairs. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, here we go. I just juiced the wheatgrass juice for the second time. This is barley juice, okay, and it's very bitter. And like, it's really hard to drink it, but I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. So this time I'm chasing it with some apple juice. This is organic apple juice. Be careful, love you. And guys, I have to say, like, I will say that it did make me go to the bathroom when I did the other one. And it seemed like it really, I don't know, I, I had a lot of energy when I first did it. It's just, I don't know, like, it's hard to tell, like, what it's doing because, you know, I've not been on it long enough. It's pretty amazing. So. I'm gonna go ahead and juice this. I'm gonna meditate while I drink this, and I'm really gonna kind of, you know, try to experience the effects of the juice. And um, so I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, guys, so I finished up my uh, day of healing with this really uh, good sandwich. Uh, I I uh, mashed up some avocado and uh, then I put some seed sauce on my other side of the sandwich and um, then I went ahead and got some cherry tomatoes and added those to my sandwich and guys this was a great day um, I felt amazing this day, uh, you know, with the light eating and the intermittent fasting, I had plenty of energy uh, while my body was uh, recuperating and healing, uh, drinking the teas throughout the day, and then the barley juice, and then the watermelon was easy to digest, and those were all just, it was just really a rehydrating day. And uh, finishing up with this really kind of high fat sa sandwich, you know, with this seed sauce and avocado. It was just a great way to end my day and I slept really good. And uh, as you can see, I added um, some tomatoes on there. And then I went ahead and got some um, lettuce and other veggies and just loaded that up on there. And I uh, just put basically whatever um, veggies that I had in the refrigerator. Um, here was some hummus that was left over and I spread that on there. And I just made a really good double decker sandwich. I put some sprouts on there and, um, and it was just a really good uh, sandwich. And you know, I hope um, this information helps you on um, you know, intermittent fasting and how beneficial it is for your body, guys. It's truly the most amazing, one of the most amazing keys to your digestion is um, intermittent fasting. Guys, because you're just giving your body a break and um, you're letting your body heal, you're letting old food digest and be eliminated from your system. It's just truly amazing. And I hope that you try intermittent fasting and I have other videos on it if you wanna check those out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.